A lost passport puts wedding plans in peril. It's not in there, is it, darling? And an international Ferrari hunter is on the prowl. I'm on a mission. I'm going to go and buy a Ferrari, not just any Ferrari. It's got to be a red Ferrari. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Far Bombay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Liverpool, and a plane's about to leave without a trolley load of passengers' luggage. There's only one man who can help, Kevin Reardon to the rescue. You'll have to full trolley off, Brian. You'll have to full trolley of baggage off. The loaders. I couldn't speak to the captain to let him know what was going on regarding the baggage, so I used hand signals. We use hand signals in the aviation industry. We have a, a clenched fist like that, which has to mean brakes on. Put your brakes on. Or an open fist means brakes off. So he understood instantly what I meant when I went like that. Brakes on. And he actually stopped the aircraft straight away. And he knew there was a problem. It's not tech. It's he forgot to put bags on, Wally. It's not tech. <laughs> It'll only be literally another minute anyway. They were definitely, definitely Barcelona bags, weren't they? They were Barcelona bags, not Malaga them, yeah. Having some fun today, boys. Isn't it lovely? That's the first time I've actually stopped an aircraft as it's pulling off stand as it's taxiing away, yeah? I've never come across that before. But it's pretty important, there's a lot of passengers on board there, and they don't want to go on their annual holiday without the bags, so it's only in all fairness to them and to everybody else that they get the bags on board, really. They may not have received them until tomorrow, you see. The flight leaves for Barcelona with just a 15-minute delay. Kevin's a hero for now, but it's not going to last. In Luton, check-in supervisor Jane Bolton has heard some gossip and she can't wait to share it. What are you doing? In Venice. Never guess he's flying on Nice today. Who? Simon Le Bon and Yasmin Le Bon. Really? Yeah. The Duran Duran singer and his supermodel wife are already causing a stir. Missed them. Thanks for calling me on the radio. Gutted. I've checked in. I have to go and find him now. Is this the big thing for today, then, trying to track down Yasmin? No, but I used to... You don't understand. I was mad, mad about them. I used to buy their magazines and everything. My posts, my walls were covered, and, and I used to be in their fan club. So I just want to be nosy and see what it looks like now. Jane won't give up till she sees her teenage heartthrob. Where are they? Have you seen them? Hmm? Oh, I was there. She's seen me asking where they are. <laughs> <laughs> Jane's helping to board the flight, hoping to get a better look at him. She's waited years for this moment, and now it's her big chance. Ooh! Yum, yum! <laughs> Can you cross over, please? Nice to meet you. Can you just cross over and go between the barriers? You're the second one from the end. Thanks. Thanks. I didn't say much, did I? Can you cross over, please? <laughs> Graham, it's Katrina. I'm just phoning because I have a passenger here with, um, with some rhododendron plants. This Edinburgh-bound passenger bought five rhododendron plants at the bargain price of £6 each. All she needs to do is get them home in one piece. Duty officer Graham Fraser has been called to lend a helping hand. I hold no hope for these. They're falling, they're falling apart already. They've been handing them to each other. And that's not the only problem. She'll now have to pay excess baggage. So it's 58. 58. We went down to 50 for you, so it's 25 kilos, yeah? Excess. 25 kilos at 2,090, it's just short of 75 pounds. You're going to love if I take them all off again, aren't you? Well, I don't mind, but it's best for you. If you take two off, yeah? Yeah, we're going to go with three, how's that? Good. The rest one? Yeah, the rest one, yeah. Is that all right, yeah? I'll just turn you down. We'll take them out of the garden, yeah. Thank you. The remaining rhododendrons have to go home with her son, and Katrina's got the giggles. Graham just ripped his trousers on the belt, so it's not funny. He, he just come back from getting those plants. On the way back, he ripped his trousers. <laughs> You'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> nice tearing my bum. Oh, you know, what's this world coming to? He's done that to help 
off someone. Now he's cut his leg and ripped his trousers. Poor thing. Back in Liverpool, Kevin's finding out that getting the stray bags onto the plane may not have been such a good idea. One of the, the Ramsey old guys, he told you, didn't he, that the bags hadn't gone on. Obviously, we needed to put them on. I stopped the aircraft. I was, you know, I was literally miles away. I was totally in a safe position to do so. And I just got back and she's called me, said that I've been reported, I've been cautioned. What am I supposed to do? She said to me, you should have got the marshaller. Well, the marshaller wasn't there. I need to pull it off. Sam, what do I do? You know what happens now, don't you? You yeah, know what I've had? Yeah. I've had one caution. Yeah. You're allowed three cautions. That's right. After three cautions, they can take your pass off you. That's right, they can take it so in. You drive your permit, whatever. Yeah. So if you can't get on the apron, you've got no pass. In Basically, you've got no job. That's right. Now Kevin has to write a report, and he's still got to tell his boss, Andy Redmond. Right. Andy, before uh, aircraft just pulled, pulled off Sang, a few seconds later, Jason called me to tell me to uh, stop it as a full trolley of bags had been left off the Barcelona. Full trolley? Full trolley of bags had been left off it, right? So uh, I stopped it. I st I was up well within safe distance. Got back to the office to say that it had been logged, that I should have called the marshaller. So I thought I'd better pass that on to you. I've done a report anyway. So all the bags went on? Yeah, all the bags went on eventually, but it was a full trolley. Yeah, well, you know, perhaps if it, you know, that's, that's the main thing the bags went on, yeah. Well, you've saved someone a lot of embarrassment, that's all I can say. Well, yeah. Okay. yeah, cheers, thanks, Ant. Just to be clear on the car you would like me to find for you, a red Ferrari 355 GTS. Meet Simon Empson, international Ferrari hunter. I'm on a mission. I'm going to go and buy a Ferrari, not just any Ferrari. It's got to be a red Ferrari. It's got to have a tan leather interior. It's got to have a low mileage. It's got to have a full service history. I have a very fussy buyer. He's asking me to go to Switzerland and find him a very special car. He only ever likes to buy a one-way ticket. If Simon flies home, he's failed. Stewardess Janie Stock is keen to meet him. There's um, a guy on board with an even more interesting job than I've got, which is difficult. But apparently, yeah, he goes swanning around Europe buying up Ferrari cars, so he's got to have a few pen in his pocket. So I'm going to check out everyone's reading material and footwear. It's always a good way to suss out who people are and see if I can find out who he is. See if at some point I can sort of, I don't know, slip in my phone number, something along those lines. Jane is not the only one with men on her mind. In Luton, Simon Le Bon's appearance has left Jane in a frisky mood. Do you know what? We had this conversation the other way. She likes tall men, she likes bald men, she likes older men. You know, I remember nice shoes, and it turned out that she liked every sort of bloke that was going. No, I don't. I don't like short men at No, no, all. you don't like short men, do you? I don't like short men. I don't either. mind fat men. I don't like thin men. What, really fat? I don't mind. Keep you warm at night. You don't like hairy backs and hairy bottoms? Oh, oh my... Jane? No, I don't. <laughs> no, really oh, hairy, hairy people. Toes. Oh, hairy toes. Oh! I've clean fingernails. I Thank forgot you. Yeah, I've got you. I don't talk about anything like that before. Oh, Jane. And not oh. hairy back. Obviously. What are your fingernails like? Oh, they're all right. They're all right. Yeah, and they're nice. <laughs> 35,000 feet up, and Jane has found her jet setter. Four days ago, I was in Stockholm. Five days ago in Turku. A week ago, I was in Frankfurt. So, uh, yeah, always a different day, a different city. Wow. Oh, gosh, that's fab. So, the most important question for you, are you married? Yes. <laughs> With three beautiful dogs. Bye then. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. Yes. <laughs> Ferrari dealers, you always expect to be sort of like dressed for dinner all the time. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of like the tuxedo and the bow ties and you know the James Bond kind of kind of look. You know, that's exactly what I was expecting. But of course, not what I got. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fine. Yes. That's Luton. Fine. And with a Spanish tennis pro at check-in, Katrina's playing Cupid. Oh, she's, sorry, she's trying to find me a man, you see. Oh, really? I'm trying to find him. <laughs> my wife left me. Oh, what a shame. I left my ex. How much you traveling? <laughs> oh, I'll travel with you. Yeah? <laughs> I think I found the point I of the day. I don't know how bad it is to be traveling every week. All right, you can you stop it now. Thank you. Okay, yeah, 3 yeah. 30 from gate 2. <laughs> OK, have a lovely Thank flight. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, for God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiding. <laughs> I can't believe. Because when it's just asked that guy to give me his mobile number, he's waiting over there now. They're very naughty. They're trying to get men in number. the queue to go out with me. Because they want me to marry someone. Oh, my God. Well, you keep getting yeah, one else's eyes. See, so. I do not. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we'd better get one of our own. I do not. Right. Will you please stop it now? I'm 29 and I feel like a 10 year old. I'm very embarrassed. <laughs> oh, she's lovely. She's great. I would marry her, but. I'm travelling all the time, I don't live here in London, what can I do? Oh, for God's sake. Jane, go! No, I'm not looking you, no, I'm not taking his number. Oh, my God, Katrina, you can go around now, I'll check in. No, no, no. Go on, you go around there, me. You go around now, I'll check in, because I'm going to be professional. Thank you very much indeed. Jane, I'm not, 
I never go to Boston. What are they doing? Yes, I tell you, no, everyone's Okay, take note of it because it's not. I'll take it down. You can write it down for me, but I never ring anyone. No, you don't. I'll give you my mobile phone number because I'm always telling you. Just to make it. So you finally found a man of your own now. Friends, really. So here you are. This is my thank you, Martin. Number. Thank you very much. Me. So, um, okay. bye, bye. bye, Martin. Bye. Bye. Including one carrot. Yeah. Hi, this is Jane. Hello. Just give them right. I never ring men. Oh my god. Bye. It's you take got one of your own now. I can't believe it. Poor oh, Jane, just my right gone. <laughs> After the break, Kevin faces the music. Well, if you take it to the letter of law, yeah, she has a case. And Jane's on the trail of a lost passport. Oh, good morning. What do you think you me? Could you tell me if you had a passport handed in this evening, please? Back at Luton and the flight to Barcelona's boarding. Jane is helping at the gate, and by a happy okay. coincidence, that's where a certain okay. Spanish gentleman's heading. I just checked in and gave my telephone number to this girl, Jane, this beautiful girl, because, um, I don't know, I think I just fell in love with her. I just, I don't know if you believe in love at first sight. I think it was just like that. If she ever comes to Barcelona, maybe I can invite her to my house on the beach and maybe cook some romantic Italian meal with candles and things, and maybe, I don't know. Maybe it will start that way. Thank you. Okay. That's funny. Can I have your passport, please? Well, gracias. Thank you. Jane, here we come again. I need your passport again. My passport? Oh, have you got your balls for me? Yeah. <laughs> Keep this ball. Oh, thank this you. is the ball I used to play I'm there. Ball. You know why she was asking for my pick? She wants to see my picture see. again. <laughs> On my age. What she's 34. For. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> OK, Jane. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. They took my boob. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh, my God. I can't concentrate. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure I was trying to get a quick rope then. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think you found it. Nobody else has. <laughs> Thank you very much. God, I'm sure. <laughs> In Liverpool, Kevin's boss Andy has a difficult phone call to make. It is a plate collision. Oh. Right, well, you're supposed to advise me of that one, aren't you? Yeah. Which is dubious. No, you write it down, Sue. Mm. So he was, he was already shutting down. He was already shutting down, then he didn't. What you're saying is he didn't need to run in front of it because it was the aircraft was shutting down. All right, well, that's duly noted. At least, uh, for our sake, there's not going to be an awful lot of passengers who are going to be upset. All right, so, cheers, mate. What did you say, Anne? What did she say? She said you had a cross down six. Yeah, I walked across, yeah. Well... But I was well away from the aircraft when I stopped him. Well, she's obviously disputing that, but... Yeah. It's for <laughs> my own safety they're concerned, isn't it? Yeah. No, not really. Well, that's what she said. Yeah. Well, that's not what she said, then. The safety of everyone in the aircraft. No. Well, she's more concerned he ran across stand six. Right. Which was a vacant stand, was it? Yeah, it was, all, it was completely empty. There was nothing else in. Well, if you take it to the letter of law, yeah. she has a case. Right. But how do we have not done it? The Nobody else would have got a case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Melanie, I'm right in the middle of a lost passport. Can you bring someone in the office to run down there for you? I will do. Thanks. Hi, it's Jane that reads. Have you had a passport handed in from anyone on a green line coach? For a... Back at Luton, and Tanya Chad is due to fly to Madrid to arrange her wedding. There's just one thing stopping her. But Jane's on the case. So you've still got your um, confirmation, if that was all together. I've got to be in the cab company for you again in a minute. It's not in there, is it, darling? I've got everything now. No. I've in there. I've got everything. And I'm going to Spain. I mean, even if you let me sit, I've got nowhere to go. Where do you live normally? Spain? No, I live in Manchester. Where are your relatives? 
Russia. <sighs> Right, not very much. You've got nothing with you and I do at all. With only an hour to go before her flight leaves, it's not looking good. In Zurich, a worried Simon finds that tracking down a red Ferrari isn't that easy. The pressure's on. Do you speak English? No. Not a word? Nicht? Yes, hello. Um, do you speak English? The service history, we were talking about... Um, uh, I see you have a, a Ferrari 355 advertised. It's green. In the world of Ferraris, there's only one colour worth buying, and that's red. If ever there's going to be a cheap Ferrari in life, today ought to be the day. A green Ferrari is something that only somebody with serious lack of funds is going to consider. And so I'm going to be trying to buy it at just about the cheapest I think a Ferrari could ever be. This car started out yellow, now it's green. It's just not as glamorous. Uh, I think it's an original Ferrari color. Uh -huh. It's not the first color. But what Simon really wants to know is if it's licensed to thrill. I'm going to start at 20,000 francs. Now, I think that will result in either being physically thrown off the premises or a sly smile. So we'll watch very carefully when we make an offer my offer for your owner yeah. is 22,000 Swiss yes and it's a cash offer yes if you want to accept it I'll be back tomorrow yeah with 22,000 in francs in cash export you'll never see it again it's okay good I look it with my owner and then I phone you back tomorrow is that okay absolutely Peter good. thank you thank you very much Time's ticking by, and Jane's still trying to track down the missing passport. She won't give up easily. Hello there. I wonder if you can help me. I know that she's rang before, but I've got a passenger here and it's a bit of a state blessing. She's, she's, she's been picked up from you this morning, and nothing's been handed in at all, because she knows she's dropped it in the car. It's not under the seat or anything. Station. Yeah. Yeah. It's an envelope with everything. Yeah. It's got birth certificate, driver's license. So, Victoria, you've got the coach, Green Line coach at Victoria to here. We have booked our ticket at 20 days earlier. Oh, good morning. What did you help me? Could you tell me if you had a passport handed in this morning, please? Um, Miss Chad, C H A D. You've got it there. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Got it. Oh. <laughs> Right, we've got to get it here now. So, let's have a think. Um, I mean, you could get it couriered here, or... Well, they just not put it in a taxi? Well, they put it in a taxi and put it in a bit here. Okay. Planning a wedding over there as well. I was getting, I was getting panicky. <laughs> Thank you very much. I should be a detective, shouldn't I? <laughs> just found a passport at Victoria Trace coach station. Thank you so much. It's all right. Let's see if it gets a good time. It should be. She's going to put it good time. <laughs> I found it. It's at Victoria Coach Station. So the taxi company uh, that she used this morning are going to go and pick it up, and they're on the way here now. Flight goes at 10.25. Checking closes at 5 past 10. Her passport will probably be here by about 10 o'clock. It's just cutting it fine. But obviously, if it gets to the point where we're going to close the check-in, I'll ring dispatch and let them know the situation just to see if we can hang, hang on just a couple of minutes for her. Simon's got the call he's been waiting for, but is his £9,000 offer enough? Well, he's not accepted my offer. We're 3,000 francs apart. He's stuck with a green Ferrari 308 GTSI. It's an American specification, no history. I can't see who else is going to buy it. I'm here with cash today. He's not accepted my offer. So now the search continues. Luton. And Tanya's still anxiously waiting for her passport to turn up. Just in time, the taxi arrives, but the driver hasn't got long to find Tanya. Hello. Hi. Are you looking for Jane? Jane, I'll just get her for a minute. Hiya. Hello. Excellent. Right, where's she gone? Um, can you ring the office and ask them to put a call out for Miss Chad? Miss Chad? Yes, yeah, CHAD, to contact us here. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> Well, that didn't take you long, did it? Oh, it's here. Thank you. She's 
get in tears for us. Yeah. 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 Here we go. Here we go, my dear. Mm, nice, good, that's good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, wait, who's that? Don't know. Sounds good, that's good. Okay, all right then. I'm going away with that Thank now. You. Okay, take it. All right, bye bye. Oh. All right. Oh, at last. You got everything. Just check you now. got your passport, yeah? Check it's mine. <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely you. Right, let's go. Yeah, it's not as <laughs> no, mine, of course, I will. Look. The plane which Kevin stopped earlier has returned to Liverpool. So Kevin takes the opportunity to have a chat with the captain. Yeah. Uh, the, the airport, the, these people here locally, you know, the, the, the operators. But apparently it can, it, the complaint can actually go through to the Civil Aviation Authority. Yeah. No, that's you're, right. You're no. Miles, right. Cheers, mate. I'm happy with it. Thanks for that. Cheers, Brian. Thanks. Well, that makes me slightly happy. Anyway, I've just spoke to the captain and I asked him, did he think I was well? I asked him, was I within a safe distance? And he thinks I was well within a safe distance, you know. Double, treble, whatever. So that uh, that pleases me slightly. No, because it really does concern me. I've got a wife and children, a mortgage like everybody else. I'm about to get struck off from a job that I really enjoy doing. I don't really know what I do, quite frankly. Simon did eventually drive home a bargain, but it still wasn't red. And Miss Chad finally became Mrs. Moruvia.